Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets, correct tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's video is brought to you by Cat File Explorer, the easiest way to see, manage and clean up AutoCAD files in Revit. Get your free copy today by following the link in this video description. Today let's look at a quick tip that will help you apply and show materials in Revit easier. Let's say you have applied your material bitmaps to the objects like this. So we have here timber material, we have here some cladding for the balcony, and on this face we have some brickwork. It's going to be fine if this is the material tiling that you want to have. In that case, nothing has to be changed, so you're good to go. But many times, you may want to ship this material bitmap in certain directions, or even rotate them. So how can you do that? If I try to select this object here, that is one single object, and when I try to tap into the surface, there's no way to select just a pattern. So that looks like it's impossible to change this. Well, actually, it's totally doable, and I'll show you exactly how right now. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now, because we do tutorials like this every single week. Okay, so for example, let's say I want the floor pattern on this balcony to be rotated by 90 degrees. So instead of going from here to there, it should go along the longer side of the slab. That's super easy to do. Let's just change this view back to hidden lines mode. And I can see now that's a floor with no surface pattern. It's just blank. The first thing you want to do if you want to change the orientation of the material bitmap is this. Go to edit type. Go to edit structure or wherever you can go to edit this material that you have applied to it. In this case, it's a floor. So I know that to edit a floor material, I need to go to structure and then edit. In here, of course, there will be several layers, but I know for a fact that this layer I'm seeing on the top here is this one. So let's click on this. We can then further confirm that's the right material by going to Appearance. And you can see there, that's the same bitmap that we saw earlier. Now the key thing is this. To rotate or move or align the material bitmap in the model, you need to apply to the material a surface pattern. In this case, nothing has been applied, so I can go to Surface Pattern under Graphics, click on this button button here, and select any model pattern. Keep in mind, it has to be a model pattern to work. You cannot use this trick with drafting patterns. So let's flip this now to Model. And how about we just select something that is kind of similar to what we saw before, maybe this one here. Click OK to select, and then OK twice to confirm. Here we go. So now we can see that the bitmap is going in the same direction as the material. To rotate it, I can simply hover my mouse over one of those pattern lines and press tab until one of them highlights like this. I can now click one line to select it and then use the rotate command to rotate the whole pattern. Let's try 90 degrees now. So now that has been rotated, if I now go back to enable my realistic view mode I can see straight away the pattern has been rotated very nice now let's do the same for this one the material here is timber but somehow I want this to be rotated super easy because we know how let's go to hidden lines and try to select this line here now just so you know I've been tapping like this for crazy for the last few seconds but nothing lights up why is that this is why if I now select this object Go to edit type again, go to edit structure, it's a wall so this is the external finish, this material here. When I click on this, I can notice now that it has indeed a surface pattern, but when I click on this to open, it turns out to be a drafting one. That won't work because for rotating the pattern or the bitmap of the material, we need the object to have the model surface pattern. So in this case, I couldn't select the lines there. That was because of this very reason. So now we know how to fix it. We need to flip it to model. And in this case, let's select another pattern that is kind of similar to what we had before. How about we do 50 mil horizontal? Oh, actually, let's try this one. That's more of the right scale. So let's do OK a few times. The button line has changed, as you can see there. Now I can now tap select into this line and get it to rotate it. Before doing so, however, let's check if the material is still the same. 
yep it's still wrong we still have to rotate it so let's go back to hidden lines now get this line rotate it 90 degrees or how about we try 45 degrees let's try it just so you know it's going to work with any angle so that's done i can now flip this back to realistic mode and certainly enough my timber planks is now cladded at that 45 degree angle very nice to conclude the lesson let's do the same for this wall here if i go to hidden lines mode i can see this is a pattern for the surface when i try to tap select it indeed allow me to select this line here now if i go back to my realistic view mode let's say i want to move this pattern slightly so this darker row of bricks here should be on the top of the wall super easy now we can just go back to hidden lines tap select a line at that location and actually i can just use the align command now pick the top of this wall as a target and then pick the line i want to move this one here with that done i can go back to realistic and as you can see the lines has moved it's also obvious because i actually has moved it a bit too much so let me try this again this time let's move it just by a small amount maybe like this back to realistic now and there you have it that darker row of bricks is now on the top of this wall so now you know the trick if you want to rotate or align the material bitmap on any rivet surface make sure that you have applied to the surface a surface pattern that is of the model pattern type you can then simply move and rotate and align the pattern as much as you like and the material bitmap will simply follow that all right if you enjoyed this lesson and want some more like this coming every single week make sure to subscribe to this channel now for now enjoy applying materials to your Revit model correctly and i'll see you in the next lesson